So now uh, I'm on to some full power testing with the uh, RGB LED uh, already wired into my custom uh, uh, custom soundboard that I built in my basement. So it basically consists of a 5 volt regulator, a WT588D sound module, an Arduino Pro Mini, and uh, three small uh, MOSFETs right here, which are actually overkill for the application because they can handle up to 18 amps and I'm not pushing more than just slightly over an amp to any of the LEDs. And then this is just a uh, uh, a blade holder uh, and a short extension from the uh, custom saber shop with a with a you know standard uh, custom saber shop uh, blade on the end and the LED is all up in there so I'm about to uh, give it a power on test um, off off camera I've got uh, a four AAA battery pack and uh, I'm going to be using uh, a jumper that I have here eventually this will go to a switch panel on the saber um, but I don't have the switches wired in. Uh, and I didn't need it for the testing, so I'll just be uh, causing the short here manually to turn it on and off. So I'll plug it in and let's see how it goes. Alright, there's a boot up sound. And let's give it the juice. Experiment. Let's see what this kind of sounds we can get out of it. The swing sounds. All right. Uh, let's see if we can get a clash out of it. Sometimes when I do this, uh, because this isn't really held in very well, sometimes it. There we go. Sometimes it shorts when I do that because this this is not all held together very well yet. Just experimenting. It's hard to get a clash out of it uh, the way it's wired right now because the clash sensor is actually in this there's a mass of wires behind there and the clash sensor is in there it'll actually work if I could bang it with any force but I, I can't really do that without it falling apart right now because uh, not everything's totally complete uh, it's got a lock up all right uh, let's Experiment with some uh, different sound fonts. And it runs, uh, it's got three sound fonts. Uh, that was Shatterpoint uh, with the obligatory purple blade. Now I've got a couple other. Right, here's Dark Apprentice. And that's just, that's white. I didn't really know what color to pick for that yet, and obviously I think I'll, I'll make it a Sith color when I'm done configuring it, but this was just to demonstrate that you can have different sounds and different colors for profiles. Now I'm getting some uh, some interference uh, with some of the fonts. It tends to, seems to matter what the frequency of the hum is. Uh, I think I need to put a uh, decoupling capacitor in uh, on the power feed to the sound chip to try and eliminate some of that. So some of it sounds kind of staticky. But it, it did not sound staticky uh, when it was on my breadboard before I was running the full power of the LED. So I think it's just a uh, uh, interference problem. I think I have a solution for that. And this is patchwork. This is a font that I threw together with sounds that I found all from all over the internet, like special effects and fan film sites and things like that. There's your blue blade. Lock up. It's a slightly brighter blue color for the lock up. that so it seems to be basically working 
I just need to work out that static feedback problem uh, and try and stick it in a saber and see how it goes. Thanks for watching.